Well, Matthew Cheung, who is Hong Kong's chief secretary, is presently holding a press briefing to give a live update on the measures that are being taken there to try and contain the virus outbreak. Let's get across and listen to what is being said there. Departments of uh, public hospitals will continue to uh, receive uh, suspected cases or high-risk cases that meet the reporting criteria of the Department of Health. And then we have multi-prong measures, as you know, to substantially reduce the, the flow of people between Hong Kong and the mainland. Uh, these measures include, first of all, for Hubei residents and for people who have been to Hubei province within 14 days, um, uh, except uh, Hong Kong residents, they are not allowed to come into Hong Kong. And then second uh, measure is that um, 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 through different phases, uh, we are reducing by half the number of flights between the mainland and Hong Kong, including Hubei province. And then uh, um, intercity train service and also um, high-speed train service has been stopped. And then we've reduced uh, bus and ferry services. That's the fourth measure. And the fifth measure is that apart from the Hong Kong International Airport, Shenzhen Bay Port and the Hong Kong Joint Macau Bridge, all the other border control ponds have been closed. And also, the main authorities have stopped issuing um, tour group visas and individual visit um, endorsements. So these measures have been, been effective. Um, since we have uh, closed the uh, border control points by faces, there is a substantial reduction in the number of um, arrivals. In a moment, um, the, the Secretary for Security will give you the figures on the arrivals. Now, and also, uh, to um, minimize social distancing, the ESO government has announced um, uh, class suspension, kindergarten suspension, and also there are um, also uh, pr measures to, uh, to re delay public examinations as necessary. And then civil servants uh, are be have been working from home until the 9th of February this year in the light of the latest um, developments for the outbreak, we are announcing here that we are extending the work from home arrangement for civil servants until the 16th of February. In the next two weeks, all statutory bodies and uh, advisory bodies of the government will not be um, co held holding meetings because there are many outside members. And also we are appealing to employers to make flexible arrangement for employees to uh, work so that we could reduce um, uh, social contacts. The ESO government will continue to follow closely the developments and having um, consulted experts, we may take, um, we will take decisive measures in the light of the latest development. In the face of this um, outbreak, uh, we ask the, the public to put aside their differences and together we will fight to overcome this uh, outbreak. Now, on the latest development, uh, the hospital authority has uh, assessments that uh, there have been um, locally infected cases, as you know. And in light of this development, on Wednesday, the chief executive announced that the chief executive in Kangso, um, you will ha has um, designed certain measures, and the chief executive in Kangso also uh, called a special meeting today in accordance with the prevention and control of the disease ordinance cap um, 599. Um, the, the, uh, 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 we will enact a piece of subsidy legislation to um, mandate a quarantine arrangement for people arriving in Hong Kong uh, for 14 days. There will be um, so there will be more stringent quarantine measures uh, to respond to the latest developments. Now I must stress that for people under mandatory quarantine, do not show any symptoms and they are not close contacts. The Department of Health um, personnel will be in constant contact with them on a daily basis. This is merely a prevention measure. And I appeal to these people, especially for those under home quarantine, to show that their social responsibility and civic responsibility, they should fully cooperate with us so that together we can fight this outbreak. Now, for anyone who uh, breaches the uh, requirements of quarantine, that is um, commission of offence. Once convicted, the penalty is a fine of $25,000 and an imprisonment of six months. I must stress that this is a very important measure. In a moment, the Secretary for Food and Health and the um, Secretary for Justice will give you more details. I must stress that the purpose of um, enacting the subsidy legislation is to further reduce the flow of people between the two places. So, therefore, um, 
uh, such measures must be more stringent rather than more relaxed. We will t uh, take a stringent approach, and then there must be um, effective and uh, well-defined um, um, procedures to follow. So there are four types of people uh, who will be exempted. First, for people who provide um, daily necessities uh, to, to Hong Kong. Uh, second, uh, for those uh, who uh, ha ha have to travel for necessity. And the third type is uh, because of the public health and other emergencies, uh, there is need to travel. And then the fourth type is um, exceptional cases. Uh, but then the, the, the measure here must be in line with um, public interest, so there's stringent requirement. Now, for supplies that are not, uh, say, for um, cross-boundary uh, lorry drivers or, say, flight crews, uh, ship crews, um, fishing vessel crews, and so on. And then for others uh, who have to implement government measures, they are all exempted from this 14-day mandatory quarantine, but I must stress, but the Department of Health will require these people to go under medical surveillance. They must wear a mask and they must um, um, take their temperature every day. And the Department of Health will closely monitor these uh, people. So I must stress that um, this uh, new arrangement will not affect uh, the flow of goods between uh, for Hong Kong. It will not affect the supply of daily necessities and food items for Hong Kong. So please do not believe in any rumors. Okay, Lastly, in the past week, uh, on a daily basis, um, thousands, a few thousands of healthcare workers were absent from duty. Emergency services, including uh, surgeries of uh, cancer patients, uh, cesarean sessions, uh, chemotherapy, neo, uh, ICU uh, services, and even A and E departments have been seriously affected. Some hospitals have to close down their A and E departments. I appeal to uh, those healthcare workers who have been absent from duty to return to duty as soon as possible, so that they can honour their duty as healthcare workers. Workers, we are grateful to those who have been steadfast in the post, providing services to patients, and we thank volunteers, uh, volunteer doctors and nurses who took the initiative to help the operation of hospitals. I will now give the floor to the Secretary for Security uh, to give us the latest figures across the borders. Since the 30th.